Today on UV Design Tips and Tricks, we show you five great tips you need to know about PHP My Admin. All right, before we get started in today's tutorial, I have kind of a pre-announcement. Stay tuned at the end. I have some exciting news about some things we're going to change already on the channel. It's for the better. And I've already been told by one of the viewers that it would help out a lot. So we're going to do it. Hooray for this. Yay. Stay tuned. All right. So PHP My Admin. It can be a very scary thing when it comes to databases because you're not used to seeing it. It's not very well explained and it's just scary looking, right? So today we're going to show you five great tips that you should know about being inside PHP My Admin and working on your database. So what a database is, it stores data for your website users, content, how websites work, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, and tons of other types of websites, custom websites, all use databases. The two most common ones are MySQL, which are used on Linux servers, and which can be used on Windows servers. And then you also have MSSQL databases, and those are only ran on Windows uh, operating system servers. Today we're gonna to be talking about phpMyAdmin, which is basically the interface to uh, take a look at my SQL databases and stuff. So here we have our database, Fix and Post Films. This is the database that we've been using for these past WordPress tutorials, and we're just gonna take a look at here. So for number one, one, I have an error token mismatch. That's fantastic. So let's even backtrack even earlier to going jumping right into the database. You have cPanel right here. Again, your cPanel might look different. You might not even have cPanel, but if you have a database, there's a way to get inside there, and it's through PHP My Admin. And here we go. Sort of slowly. All right. So we have PHP, PHP My Admin loaded up for us to, to view, and right here we have our database. This is the name of the database that we've been using for the WordPress install that we've been working on for the past couple of tutorials. I'm gonna keep on chucking. So the first thing is, here's your database name. Click on that. And here are the tables. Tables are what make databases. And inside those tables, you have rows. And over here, you have, it tells you how many rows are inside each database. So you can literally click on this table and now you can see all the rows associated with this. Uh, all that kind of works the same, no matter if you're using Joomla, Drupal, I mean, even a custom database, um, they all work the same as long as you have everything labeled correctly and working in a beautiful fashion, your database will be amazing. So again, we're just using a WordPress database, but most of these tips are for general PHP, my admin, uh, and generally my SQL databases. So it's not specifically for WordPress. We're just using a WordPress database. Um, so the number one thing I'm going to show you here is users. Again, in WordPress, it's whatever prefix underscore users. Joomla, it's the same. Drupal, it's the same. And again, if you cre custom created yours, I hope you would name your users unless you didn't and you named it somewhere else. Then again, you probably wouldn't be watching this tutorial because you already know what you're doing. So anyways, click on users. And in this row, make sure you have browse on here. Uh, make sure users is clicked. And here is your user. Uh, you would you can't have a lot more users. Again, if you have people signed up, if they've bought stuff through your store before, through like WooCommerce or anything, you're going to see all your users uh, when they log in. This is where it's stored at. Um, I don't have anyone else logging in but me. So here's the only one you will see. So... Um, here we have this. So you inside here and you're like, man, I don't remember my password. What do I do? Well, you go inside PHP, my admin, and you change it. So we're going to click edit. And we have each now row that makes up that particular uh, user. And here we have password. So this is the password that's encrypted. We won't know what that is. And there's no way of knowing what that is. So you have to change it. You can change it to whatever you want. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to call it password. I hope to God, Jeebus, 
higher on up powers, whoever you look up to, that you do not use password as your actual password. We're just using it for the sake of this tutorial. And then the major next thing you need, the major next thing, a very important part of this is you can't just hit go. Go is like save in PHP Miami. You have to tell it what type of encryption. You have all these different types that uh, the database or PHP Miami can, can encrypt the database for or encrypt the password to. And we want to do MD5. I'm gonna be super honest with you. I don't know what that means and I don't know why it's over that. I just know that's the one you need to choose. Again, this works for Joomla, Drupal, all the major uh, content delivery uh, uh, applications. Um, and I've seen it used on custom ones too. Again, if you've used super custom databases, you're not watching this. So anyways, go ahead and click go. And now you have a funky looking, super weird password. But again, that's just encrypted. So in case anyone ever breaks into your database, uh, they won't know the password for your users inside your website. But if they're inside the database, they're probably inside your website. Ugh, let's not even think about that, it's scary stuff. Okay, so that's number one, tip number one, how to change your password. And since we're in this lovely field, let's say you had a developer give you a website, but they put in their information. So when you do the lost password, you never get the email. Well. Here's how you update the email. You can change your email right here. And this is my email address, which I shouldn't probably have up here, but whatever, it's fine. I don't use it for anything anyways besides spam, so yay. So again, you can click edit, change the email to be whatever. And click save. And now the email is saved. So if you do a lost password, that is the email address it's going to go to. Now, on some newer versions of PHP admin, my admin, you have this great way of you can just double click in the field and change it right there. So it's pretty handy dandy. You can't do the password from there since you can't tell what encryption method to go to. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. I got my other, my old password saved. We're gonna put it back and bam. Now, the third thing you want to do is let's say you need to move your website somewhere and they tell you to export out your database. Well, number tip th three is to show you how to export your database. So you're going to go up here. Well, first of all, you want to make sure you click on your database so you see all your tables right here. You're going to click export and you're going to do a quick one or a custom one. A uh, custom, you can select certain tables if you just want to export out certain tables. Um, save different files and all this other stuff. Again, if you're doing this, you're probably not watching this. So for the sake of this tutorial, you're just gonna do it quick because you want the whole database backed up anyways and saved. Format, we want SQL and then hit go. And then there you go. The database is now saved to your computer. Yay. So let's say now for tip number four. We're going to show you how to drop these tables. Dropping tables means you basically clear out the database. You can clear out individual tables this way by clicking drop and this will delete and remove all things associated with this particular table. Well, we're not gonna do that. Uh, there's not a lot of scenarios where you need to just, just drop one table, especially if you're using WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, things like that. Um, so what you do is you're gonna come here, select all or check all, whichever one does it all the same thing. And here, you come here to drop this down and you wanna hit drop. And here's all the tables you're gonna drop. Are you really sure you wanna do this? Yes, I am. So you click yes. And then now your database is empty. The reason why you wanna do this is in case you're uh, importing in a database to a fresh install of WordPress, uh, you need to drop the default table so you can add your own. And so let's say that's what we're doing. So we just did a fresh install of WordPress. I wanna drop the tables. Now I wanna import my database from my developer or from my other server. Uh, so then you click on here, no tables found. Oh geez, what do we do? Well, we have this beautiful import button right here. 
you select that, you choose your file. You can either choose, click on here like any other normal and peruse uh, for your database, or you can just literally drag your database right on here. Now, sometimes you won't get this screen depending on your PHP my admin. Well, I don't even know why that did that. That's weird. Again, I don't know why it's doing that. That's so weird. Anyways, we're just going to go like this. Choose file. I feel awkward now. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's fine. It's really, really fine. All right, there it is. I have a lot of stuff in my downloads folder. Don't look at it all. Just look at this. Okay. Now, here we go. Here's the name of the database that we're importing. Max is 50 megabytes. So let's say you have a database that's like, let's say 300 megabytes. You would still do the same process. Choose a file, upload, and hit go. And it's gonna sit here and spin. My screen is gonna say, congratulations, you've uploaded a database. Woohoo! we've uploaded this many tables. But let's say you have a database that's very large, like a 400 meg, a 300 meg database in your system. Well, what you're gonna do is and the reason why it says this error, because I did the other drag and drop and it put the WP comment meta table there. So it's whatever, but it's still fine. Cause look, all the tables are here. It looks great. So go back to my other thought is if you have a 300 meg or plus or 50 meg plus database, you can click browse, click go. And it's going to sit here and spin, 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 spin. And it's going to upload basically 50 megs of that database. Then you're going to get a nice error message. I don't even know if it's an error message. It's just more like a, a warning, I guess, saying, we have stopped importing your database. If you would like to continue from where we left off, go ahead, browse for that same database and click go again. And then it's going to start from where it stopped. And it's going to do the next 50 megs. And then it's going to do the next and the next. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So it's kind of time consuming, but you know, hey, you have a very large database and that's how you take care of it. So yeah, don't have large databases. Just kidding. If you have a large database, you're probably doing pretty well. Or we have a lot of spam comments. So that's it. That is my five tips for PHP my admin. Um, those are some just common ones that I've had people ask me about, especially the first two, how to update the email and how to update the password for you. So that's it for today. So to go back to my exciting news, what I've decided to do is release two videos a week. That is two, T-W-O. On Mondays, I'm going to release videos that talk about uh, WordPress and building out that WordPress site for fixitandpostfilms.com. Learning how to design, use themes, plugins, and make it pretty for the world to see. And then on Wednesdays, I'm going to do well, maybe Wednesdays or Thursdays, haven't debated. But anyways, the second video of the week is going to be more on hosting uh, support, tricks and trips for hosting, cPanel, VPSs, PHP my admin, things like that. It'll be a good way to separate the two, uh, make life simpler and not so confusing uh, for viewers and kind of get an idea of how we do things and kind of maybe, maybe they only want to watch Mondays, maybe they only want to watch Wednesdays, I don't know. You choose. Watch them all. They're pretty fantastic. So yeah, that'll do it for us today. Make sure if you like the video, video, go ahead and hit the like button below. If you enjoy the videos or would just like to do me a solid favor, hit the subscribe button below and check out some of the other videos. They might be very helpful for you to make life easier. Until next time, take it easy.